the research is quite clear that women are as good, if not better than, their male colleagues, generally speaking, when it comes to negotiating on behalf of others, yet when women negotiate on their, for their own satisfaction, compensation, promotions, raises for themselves, often, for lots of complicated reasons, we can get in our own way. So, you know, the bottom line is to think about ways you may have gotten in your own way and self-coach. What's really true is that these are women who negotiate for a living. They're excellent at it, but they wouldn't have jobs. They're negotiating with hotels. They're negotiating with clients. They're negotiating with um, all kinds of vendors in very sophisticated negotiations. And yet, and I, when I did the research, what I was shocked to find is that many of these women aren't really quite good at negotiating for themselves because we're in a situation where we're underpaid relative to the men in the profession. And if you look at the leadership roles, um, women aren't at that table. Now, some of it is really uh, attributable to a lack of negotiating on the part of the women for their own um, career success. And a lot of it is systemic, because we see it not only in the meetings industry, but in every industry. The playing field is not even, and so women have to negotiate for things their male colleagues often do not. So when you put all of it together, you know, it's really a question of how do you unpack it to a point where women are more comfortable and that when they advocate for themselves, there's not pushback that is unfair, because that same behavior, if done by a male, would be just fine. One of the things that I think is important is to think about your approach to negotiation in one of two ways. So the transactional negotiation is one that is really focused on getting an agreement and not as concerned with meeting the needs of the other party. So we tend to think of it as positional bargaining. I start high and you start low and we end up compromising in the middle. Now, if we contrast that with relationship negotiation, also known as mutual gains negotiation, that's much more focused on building the relationship through agreeing in a very holistic and comprehensive way to meet the needs of both parties to the negotiation. So it's a state of mind more than anything else.